If you're really into getting your Python code to be as efficient as possible, one thing you should take advantage of is something called a cache property. So to show how this works, I want to compare it to a regular property. So given my circle class, we have a property called area, and I've done a print statement to simulate some computation happening. So when I create an instance and then ask for the area twice, we can see working, then the result, working, then the result again. Now what we can do with a cache property is get it to cache this away and avoid doing the computation for a second time. And to do this, we can simply go to Funk Tools and we can import the cached property here. And it's basically as simple as, if I take cache property, go ahead and put this in its place. Now, just before I run it, bear in mind that this printed off working twice and the result. Now running it again with a cache property, we see it prints off working once However, it then returns the result from its cache instead. So even if you call this, say, four times, it's only going to do the computation once, store this in a cache, and then return the result here. So if you have this situation where you have a property which is going to be staying the same, it's quite a good idea to use a cache property to avoid duplicating that computation.